in the food sector, farm to plate, farm to fork markets. 2,200 jobs were added to farms. We have more solar jobs in Vermont than any other state in the nation. Number one this year. We have quadruple, quadruple the number of solar panels put up in this state since I became governor. That's because of you, not because of me. We're out there doing it together. Net metering that you just lobbied for. Making sure we raise the 4% cap. Doing all the things that we know will not only ensure jobs, but ensure a brighter future for our kids. So listen, when we're out there leading the way, it's because of your efforts and your advocacy that we're able to win. And what I ask you to do, with all the good news and the good work that we're doing, is to cite our sites even higher. There is not a rational person in the world who's read the science, who does not believe that we have a very limited window of time to do more of what we're doing in Vermont and spread it to other states and other countries if this planet can be livable for our kids and grandkids. Our window of opportunity is closing in on us as we start to get it right here. I also firmly believe that with your help, this next legislative session, and we've got to make the case to Vermonters, we can be the state that passes the first sensible, affordable, universal, single-payer, publicly financed health care system in America, while health care, where health care for the first time in American history, in this little state, will be there for you because you are a resident of the state of Vermont, not because of how lucky you are.
and you will grow jobs and prosperity because we will be the first to get it right. I often say on the healthcare front, when you'll hear the fear folks say, you know, Governor, how are we going to afford this? How are we going to pay for it? I keep saying, wait a minute. How are we going to afford what we're doing right now? How are we going to pay for what we are doing right now? One thing that I know for sure, the system right now is not sustainable. So if we can move from a system where some people pay because it's the right thing to do, and some people don't, but they say that's okay because the people who do will pay for them, to one where we all pay based on our ability to pay, I guarantee you that that combined with an affordable quality system that delivers better care, better outcomes for less money, and we all win. Now I'll close by saying this. Folks say, wow, Governor, that sounds like a tall word. That sounds like that's really hard to do. But what I keep saying is, well, no, actually, it's perceived as hard to do in the 50 states. But look at everybody else that you are competing with right now for jobs. They've actually figured this one out. They all have some kind of universal access system, kind of like what we do for people who are 65 and up in this country, you know, single-payer affordable health care system. <laughs> but they do it for everybody. You don't have to be 65 to get in. And they live longer. They spend much less than we do per patient, per resident. And they have better outcomes, lower infant mortality, more affordability. So listen, make me this promise. Let's take what we've done with the minimum wage. Let's take what we've done with GMO leadership. Let's take what we've done with renewable energy. Let's take what we've done with energy efficiency. Let's take it with what we've done with farm to plate. Let's take what we've done with local, locally grown quality food, growing jobs and economic opportunity. Let's take what we've done with so many sectors of innovation from how we treat each other through marriage equality to all the other good ideas that the state has had first. And let's be the first to get this right. This is our time. This is right for Vermont. This is how we'll grow jobs and economic opportunity. This is what you will be proud of when you are all done and you look back and you say, you know, we not only did great things for Vermont's economy, but we made this a better place to live. And we set the example for the rest of the nation. Go VBSR, we love you. Keep up the great work. Happy 24th. Let's keep it going. Get more members, more people aboard, more people on the tent, and more people listening in the legislature. And we will get the rest of the work done. Thank you so much.